Hey, guys. Hey, why is Jay Few here? Well, we're, Lou, we're doing uh, SummerSlam trivia, so I figured it'd be good for competition if we had another player. Why didn't we just bring a randomizer then? Welcome to PFS Pod, otherwise known as The Few Show Podcast. This is 24 7 Lou, and that's. Ricard saying dice can't take tests. And that's. The one man band. Man. Test for dice? What's wrong with it? And special guest. Jay Few. I got a call today from the uh, producer about the 1,000th episode. Congratulations, guys. I'm glad to be here. That was last week. Anyway. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, yeah. And welcome to TFS Pod. Hello, there's a few show podcasts. No one show in the world. No one show in your heart. No one show in your girlfriend's heart. We are back. New, uh, what is this? This is going to be the second one. This is going to be the, 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 what is it? First hand, no, second the second anniversary. Second trivia? It's the second trivia game. Yeah, second anniversary of a s- one- SummerSlam trivia. And now I pass all no, the keys. No, no, not, it's not the second anniversary. This is the second trivia game we do. We did the first one on the Royal Rumble. Don't worry, we'll get all the big four pay-per-views. Okay, okay. Let, let, let me give you the keys to the show because uh, you're taking over from now. Here are the keys. You got it. Woo! All right, all right, all right. So, guys, uh, for those of you who did trivia last time, you might know the rules. Jay Few, since you're new here, it's I read the question. It's multiple choice because, you know, we're all American here. <laughs> and you got 15 seconds. Obviously, no Internet, no cheating. What? If I hear typing in the background, you know, well, no. There you go. I know what each of your keyboards yeah. sound like, so don't worry. Cuomo? <laughs> <laughs> And since since uh, since this is the second trivia, we can do we can do a uh, different order with alternating orders. Uh, Drew, you are the returning trivia champion. Yes, you got the highest score and the last one for the Royal Rumble. Lou Ooh. got second place by default. <laughs> and Jay Few, since you're new here, you'll get newcomers advantage by going last. Uh, in the early early part of the game. Oh. Yeah. So, oh. with that said, let's do some introductions. All right, folks. We're here back with the Slam of the Summer Trivia Quiz. And we've got our three contestants here. Starting up, it's the one-man band. <sighs> <sighs> and then yeah, to his right is 24-7 Lou. Okay, and <laughs> last but not least, it's Jay Few. Yeah, you guys. suck. You're gonna get beat. <laughs> and let's start because question number one. All right, so you're all probably wondering how many questions this trivia game has, and the answer to that question is Four. sixteen. Oh, I don't. No. I, I thought we started already. No, Lou, Lou, don't interrupt the questions. Uh, so we have 16 questions, much like the Royal Rumble trivia game, ironically, but for a different reason. 16 questions in honor of the wrestler who wrestled the most amount of matches at SummerSlam. That's 16 matches. And that wrestler's name is A, Randy Orton, B, The Undertaker, C, John Cena, D, Triple H, E, Edge. 15 seconds. John Cena. Okay, Lou, t- wait, wait your turn. Wait your turn. You co- oh. Now One Man Band can copy your answer. Oh, I don't uh, know. Oh, I know. Uh, 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 one Man Band, what's your answer? Can you repeat the question again? Because I had a little bit of feedback on it. Oh, oh, oh okay. someone's stalling. No, I'm serious. serious. All right. Uh, what wrestler has the honor of wrestling the most amount of matches at SummerSlam? And they wrestled 16 matches. Is it Randy Orton? Undertaker, John Cena, Triple H, or Edge? I'm going to go Triple H. Okay. He said D, Triple H. Lou? Uh, I'm going to go with Cena. Okay. And Jay Few? Um, I'm also going to go with Triple H. Drum roll. 
The correct answer is B, The Undertaker, with 16 matches total wrestled at SummerSlam. For the record, wow. John Cena has 14 matches, and Triple H has 13 matches wrestled at SummerSlam. Yeah. Wow. Runner-up, by the way, who probably is going to tie him uh, this year, is Randy Orton at 15 matches. Wow. So first match, first first round, no points. Does that I'm go really... to the dice? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that doesn't go to the dice. <laughs> the dice is not in this. No, the dice is not in this. That'd be that'd be hilarious. The dice might get the winning score if that were the case. You know what? I would get the <laughs> dice. One, two, three, or four. Three, and he gets it or something. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. All right, guys. Question number two. All right. So, all of the following former divas or women's champions, as of 2021, have competed in just two matches at SummerSlam. So all of them have two matches on record at SummerSlam. However, only one of the of the upcoming list has actually gotten a victory at SummerSlam. And her name is A, Trish Stratus, B, Mickey James, C, Kelly Kelly, D, AJ Lee, E, Alicia Fox, or F, Carmella. Wow. Jesus Christ. I think I know this one. 24-7 Lou. Okay, I go first. What is your answer? I'm going to go with uh, Trish Stratus. Yep. Trish Stratus. A, okay. Uh, Jay Few, what's I'm your gonna answer? I'm going to say Carmella. Carmella, okay. One Man Band, what's your answer? I'm going to go Mickey James. Mickey James, okay. Drum roll. The answer is C, Kelly Kelly. All the other ones have an 0-2 wow. record at SummerSlam. Wow. So the, answer, the answer is Kelly Kelly. Oh. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Oh, uh, side, side note, side note real quick. Um, Kelly Kelly, my, my heart goes out to you. I don't know if you guys heard of what happened to her. She had a, she had a, a, a miscarriage. And she lost her. She lost her baby. Oh, oh, oh. no! Yeah, yeah. That was, I thought I heard about that yesterday. Actually, wow. Damn. Yeah, that was that was terrible. That's sad. Thoughts of support. Thoughts of support for Kelly Kelly right there. Wow. So the score is who is the only person in that list with a one and one record at SummerSlam? Everyone else is zero and two. Who did she beat? All right, since you're all curious, Trish Stratus has an 0-2 record at SummerSlam. She competed in two, SummerSlam 2000, and she lost to Eddie Guerrero in China. And then in SummerSlam versus Charlotte Flair in 2018. Mickey James lost in a battle royal in 2007 that was ultimately won by Beth Phoenix. And then she competed in a mixed tag match the following year uh, against Santino Morella and Beth Phoenix. Kelly Kelly has a singles victory in 2011 against Beth Phoenix for the Divas Championship. And Carmella, I believe, which was Jay Fuse pick, lost in a six-man tag match or six-woman tag match against the team of Alexa Bliss, Natalia, and Nikki Bella. And then she also lost in a triple threat match uh, against Charlotte Flair, which also mm-hmm. included Becky Lynch. Mm-hmm. So question two down, zero points on the board. Yeah, my lead. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see if someone can turn it around with this one. Uh, question three. SummerSlam is no stranger to gimmick matches. Some gimmick matches even get debuted on the show for the first time ever. With that being said, which of the following gimmick matches first happened at SummerSlam? Hmm. A, tables, ladders, and chairs match. B, Thong stink face match. <laughs> C, the boiler room brawl match. D, none of the above. Or E, all of the above. Really? Hey. Right. Who goes first? Uh, this was going to be <laughs> J Few first. Okay, I know this one. Uh, boiler room brawl. Okay, boiler room brawl. So you're going to go with C. Why not? Uh, one, one man band. I also was thinking Boiler Room Brawl. Okay. And Lou. 
Since I know these guys are really wrong, I'm going to go with Boiler Room Brawl. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Is, is, I'm going to I'm going to do the I'm going to do the thing that all game show hosts do cuz sometimes it comes out, this is too funny. Does anybody want to change their answer? No. <laughs> no. 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 Okay. Drum roll. Correct answer is E, all of the above. Wow. Oh wow. The first tables, ladders and chairs match with the tagline tables, ladders and chairs, oh my, occurred at oh. SummerSlam 2000. With, between the Hardys, mm-hmm. Edge and Christian, and the Dudleys. Mm-hmm. If you recall, the WrestleMania match of 2000 was only a ladder match, officially. Right. The Thong Stink Face match, the first and only of its kind, also occurred at SummerSlam 2000, and it happened between Terry Runnels and the Cat. Not a great match, but mm. <laughs> it's still a, still a debut. And yes, the Boiler Room Brawl match did debut at SummerSlam also in 1996 between Mankind and The Undertaker. Damn, man. You know, I wasn't even thinking about the E all of that. I just, I don't know. I was just thinking Boiler Room Bra, baby. Yes. I remember that. Eh. No, you got it right. Uh, it did. It, it was a match that debuted there, but it wasn't the only one. That was the only thing. Now, yeah. let's turn this around. Because it's time for a Heath Slater fun fact. Oh. <laughs> so here goes because I like doing these for every trivia game at SummerSlam 2010 in a 7 on 7 elimination match between the Nexus and Team WWE which was led by John Cena the one man band baby he Slater eliminated two former WWE world heavyweight champions on the opposing team and their names were A. Daniel Bryan and Edge B. Bret Hart and Chris Jericho. C, Daniel Bryan and Bret Hart. D, Chris Jericho and Edge. Or E, Bret Hart and Edge. Damn. The Woman Band. What's your answer? I'm going to go go Bret Hart and Edge. Bret Hart and Edge. Okay. Lou. Uh, Was it Chris Jericho and Edge you you had there? That was one of the options. That's D. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that one. Okay. And uh, Jay Few. Wait, wait. Say, say the answers again. I'm sorry. It's like Bret Hart, Bret Hart, and. Okay. Okay. No, obviously, I'm sorry. <laughs> obviously, Bret Hart's not counted twice. No, but <laughs> I, I'll repeat. It, I'll repeat it. That's fine. It's A. Daniel Bryan and Edge. B. Bret Hart and Chris Jericho. C. Daniel Bryan and Bret Hart. D, Chris Jericho and Edge, or E, Bret Hart and Edge. You mean eliminated, right? Eliminated, yes. Um, By Heath Slater. Um, Bret Hart and Edge. Okay. Is that your final answer? Yes. The correct answer is Chris Jericho and Edge. Lou gets a point. Yeah! Wow. Cool. For the record, Bret Hart was in the match. He got disqualified when he hit, uh, at the time, Skip Sheffield, soon to be right back with a chair. Oh. Uh, and Dan O'Brien good. and Dan O'Brien was eliminated by Wade Barrett. This was a SummerSlam match? This was a SummerSlam. Seven on seven elimination. Yep. Wow, I gotta see that. Well, the finish did piss off a lot of people, but... Oh, wait, it was a 7-on-7 SummerSlam 2010. Yep. Cool. That's correct. Okay. Elimination? Like Survivor Series? Yeah, it's an elimination match. It was uh, to build up towards the Nexus versus WWE thing. Oh. I'm going to go check that out. All right, there you go. You see? Adding, adding, Adding matches to the watch list. That's what these trivia games are for, for things you didn't know. All right. So, on things you didn't know, Lou, you do have the lead. Way to go. You're also the one who answers first. You're also the one who answers first on this next question. So, let's see. Uh, Which of the following wrestlers is the one that holds the sole victory over Kurt Angle at SummerSlam? In other words, I'm going to give you a list. 
Only one of these people has defeated Kurt Angle at SummerSlam. Or, Lesnar. You know, well, we'll see. Calm down. It's A, <laughs> Brock Lesnar. B, Rey Mysterio. C, Stone Cold Steve Austin. D, The Rock. E, Eugene. Or F, none of the above. Kurt Angle has never lost at SummerSlam. Oh, oh, you and your F. <laughs> F your question. F, F your my question. question. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good that one. A- I remember some of these matches, but I, I, I'm i just trying to think now. Did he win or did he lose? All right. All right. Well, th- remember, there's there's no all of the above, so only one of them has beaten him, or none of them. What, what were the choices again? Okay, I'll repeat the choices. It's A, Brock Lesnar. Come on, go. B, uh-huh. Rey Mysterio. Uh, hey, hey, Lou, I hear you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> C, Stone Cold Steve Austin. D, The Rock. E, Eugene. Or F, none of the above. Kurt Angle has never lost at SummerSlam. Wow. All right, I'll go first. Right, I'm going to go, go with A. Yeah. I'm going to go with A, Brock Lesnar. You're going to go with A, Brock Lesnar. Okay. J, Few. Um, oh, God, man. I think, I think that, I think that Stone Cold beat, yeah, I think Stone Cold beat Kurt Angle or SummerSlam. I'm going to say Stone Cold, Steve Austin. Okay. One man band? I'm going to go Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio, wow. I can tell you one thing. I know for sure it's not Eugene. 100%. 100%. I know it's not Eugene. You, oh, okay. I remember right. that match. I, re- I remember that match. There's no way it was Eugene. <laughs> and, if, and if it was, if it was, wow, man, my memory's going bad. But... <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I will. I'll, I'll preface. I'll preface the answer with JFU. You are correct. It was not Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the correct answer is actually The Rock. Oh, so I'll break wow. it down. I'm going to break it down. So I'm going to break it down. Brock Lesnar lost by submission in SummerSlam 2003 to Kurt right. Angle, which started that. the "you tapped out" chance. Yes, I remember that. Rey Mysterio lost by submission in SummerSlam of 2002. Mm. Okay. In the opening match, it was actually a yeah. really good match. Amazing match. Yeah, that's what it was. Nice. Stone Cold Steve Austin lost by disqualification to Kurt Angle. At SummerSlam 2001. See, that's what I remember. Like him, I thought he won because I think I think Kurt Angle was left a bloody mess. Yes, Austin. Austin beat him. Uh, Austin. Austin uh, basically got himself disqualified. He walked away, but he lost the match. Okay. It was The Rock at Kurt Angle's first SummerSlam in a triple threat match with Triple H and Kurt Angle. Oh. Who won? Who won at SummerSlam yes, 2000? I remember that freaking match. And then the, yeah. Kurt Angle got hurt in the beginning of the match, and it was Triple H and The Rock pretty much the whole way. And then Kurt Angle came back. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's the one. Oh, that's his shoot. only. That's his only loss at SummerSlam. That was a good match. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. I, I recently rewatched it. It was really good. Definitely worth a rewatch. Ah, oh, okay. So, Lou, you are relieved to know that you are still in the lead, one one to zero for everyone else. Sounds great. <laughs> uh, trivia imitating real life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Question number six: What wrestler currently holds the record for having the most Bobby. wins Bobby. and being undefeated at SummerSlam? Calm down. He got your options. Yeah, it's, oh my gosh. What what wrestler? What wrestler what has the most what? Uh-huh. Is has the most wins and he has the most wins and is undefeated at SummerSlam. Meaning meaning most wins while also being undefeated at SummerSlam. Right. So it's blank and zero. Your options are A Hulk Hogan, brother. B the <laughs> Ultimate Warrior. C, Jerry the King Lawler. D, John Morrison. Or E, Billy Gunn. Damn it. <laughs> All I right. can tell you for sure who it is not. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, JFU, you go first. So who, who, who do you think? 
Um, okay. Most wins and never lost at SummerSlam, right? Yep, that's that's the criteria. Never lost at SummerSlam. Hold on, my mind's joggling. Uh huh. Uh huh. Waiting yeah, for Google to load. <laughs> uh, Waiting for Google to load. Oh man. Uh, Bring- I'm between I'm between John Morrison and Hulk Hogan, but since I love the Hulkster, I'm gonna say Hulk Hogan. I know for sure it's not Billy Gunn, but whatever. <laughs> All right, uh, one man bands. Uh, you know, for whatever reason, I think my old my old mind from back in the days <laughs> re- re- remembers this, and I want to say it's Hulk Hogan. Okay. Okay. Lou. I remember seeing a few of them. All right, all right. We got a consensus so far. Lou, who do we got? Um, damn. I was going. I was. I was thinking somebody you, else. But I hear you. I hear you in the background phoning a friend. <laughs> all right, we just told you. Quit asking your kid for help. I'm. I'm holding Control C. You're holding control C, so you're gonna go with A consensus. <laughs> yeah, Hulk Hogan. Wow. Okay. The correct answer is. Does anybody want to change their answer? Um. Uh. I know. Okay. I, I know. I'm gonna get this I'll wrong. Change Drew's I know answer. it's not Hulk Hogan. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, no. You can only change your own answer. Oh. We can't change the answer. So I'm. Uh, whatever. I got it wrong. But I know, I know. No, 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 no. I know, right. I know, I know I'm going to do this. Okay. Oh, wait, no, All right. I won't change it. All right. I won't change it. Stay with Hogan. Correct answer is Hulk Hogan. Oh, with a record of what six. What you got to do, brother? One of 24 inch pythons run wild on you, man. He's got a record of 6-0. and oh. For the record, the Ultimate Warrior had a record of, he was tied with Ultimate Warrior. 5-0. and oh. Ultimate Warrior is 5-0 and oh at SummerSlam. But what put Hogan over the edge was his 2005, I believe it's 2006 match against Randy Orton. Randy Orton. That's the one. Uh, yep. That's okay, what so put it, Hogan over the edge. Defense. And yes, the other people I named are also undefeated at SummerSlam. Jerry the King Waller is 3-0. and John Morrison is 3-0. Oh, wow. And Billy Gunn is the only one who is one loss. So, yes, that's against why. The Rock. That's why you, yep, that's why you were so sure. Yeah, I remember that match. That match was funny, dude. Okay, so okay, so you said Hogan has six wins. I'm thinking '88 against uh, the Mega Powers, against Andre and Million Dollar Man, then '89 against Zeus and Macho King, and he was teaming up with Brutus. 1990 Earthquake. 1991 was that Sergeant Slaughter Iraqi thing where he teamed up with the Warrior. And then mm-hmm. I'm remembering Randy Orton. But what Randy was Orton the other and, and Shawn Michaels, Shawn Michaels before. Oh, the yeah, before. Shawn Michaels. Oh, my God. That was a great match. Who's your daddy, Montreal? Wow. <laughs> 2005. Wow. Yep. Yeah. That was great. I, I love that. Hey, thank you. I'm very impressed with what you're, you're recalling all these matches. But no extra points. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lou. Lou is still in the lead. It's two. And then you got one man band with one point, and J Fu with one point. You're all on the board. That's good. Yeah. All right. Damn, so. Now. Oh yeah, no, it's it's gonna get it's gonna get tough. Don't worry. Some of these are easier though, but we'll we'll get to that. Question number seven. Lucky number seven here. Uh, which of the following wrestlers, as of this recording, is the only one that holds the sole victory over Seth Rollins at SummerSlam? A. John Cena. B. Finn Balor, C, Brock Lesnar, D, Dolph Ziggler, E, Dominic Mysterio, F, none of the above. Wow. Hmm. Seth Rollins is, F, none of the above. Seth Rollins has never lost at SummerSlam. Yeah, I know. I, I Every time I had an F, it's just a big old F you for you guys. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> You're just there, like, what do you mean? You just said I'm one trying to person go through all is beating names him. And like, oh, F. F. Nobody's beating them. What? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I stalled enough. One man bands. You're up. I, I want to say, I want to say, Brock Lesnar. 
right? Brock Lesnar, that's your pick. Lou, what's your pick? All right, um, repeat the question. Oh my god, <laughs> it's stalling. Someone's stalling. No, no, no. It's your your options are A. John Cena, B. Finn Balor, C. Brock Lesnar, D. Dolph Ziggler, E. Dominic Mysterio, or F. None of the above. Seth Rollins has never lost at SummerSlam. I'm gonna go with F. You're going to go with F? Yeah. Okay. J. Few. I know it's not Cena. And I remember something huge happened. I think it was maybe last year that Dominic defeated somebody big. I don't know if it was him at SummerSlam or is it none of the above. So I'm between those two. Um, I like to ask the audience. You cannot. That's not the wrong game show. Oh, okay. Um, that man. That man passed away. Sorry. The audience. The audience <laughs> says you suck. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna go with Dominic. You're gonna go with Dominic Mysterio. Okay. Yes. All right. Before I give the answer, does anybody want to change their answer? Nope. nope. Okay. All right. The correct answer is B, Finn Balor at SummerSlam 2016 for the Universal title. That was the match Whoa. that he won to become the first ever Universal champion. Damn, man. Then he, for a day. He got hurt the next night, right? Yeah. No, he got yes. hurt in the match. He got hurt in the match. He popped his shoulder, like, right in the in the corner. And they took his belt away. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So it, it was – who was the first person to beat him? Who was the only person? This this is the only person to beat Seth Rollins at SummerSlam. Rollins has a record of six and one at SummerSlam. No, wait, 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 wait. Uh, how you call it? The, the, I'm, I'm thinking because I remember Brock Lesnar and and uh, and Seth yep. Rollins going at it in yep. 2019. Yeah, and Seth Rollins won by pinfall. It was the WrestleMania rematch. Was it really? Cause... Yep. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So Dolph Ziggler was 2018. He won by pinfall there. He beat Dominic Mysterio at 2020 at the Performance Center to zero audience. And 2015, he beat John Cena with an unnamed celebrity interference. All right, I, I'm hoping you're going. You're going to go retro because you said SummerSlam trivia. Hey, this is that. SummerSlam. All right, let's go back. Let's go back more years. No. Okay, we will. We will. We will. <laughs> No. Let's go back more years. Lou is like, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't know that. All right, all right. This one's gonna be a bit retro, actually, because this one's this one's gonna test your brain here. Uh, all right. So once again, score stands at two and one for everyone else. Uh, Lou is at two points in the lead. <sighs> so with that said, I don't like drawing attention to major losing streak records, but here goes. What is the name of the wrestler that has the most losses at SummerSlam with no victories? Bowie. A. You can't. <laughs> All right. A. Jeff Hardy. B. Marty Jannetty. C. Matt Hardy. D. Shane McMahon. Or E. The Great Colleague. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough one. Uh, oh, yeah. These are insane. Yeah, this yeah. is really. You're gonna be. Really, really, really you're gonna be very one. surprised with the answer, I think. But uh, uh, I think I've stalled enough. Lou, what's your answer? The Great Kali. The Great <laughs> Kali. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn. No hesitation on that one. Uh, no, I, I think maybe he might be right. I mean, I don't know. I'm just laughing at the whole. It was a great. Uh, that's. Right, it's very tricky. All right. this, this J. Few, J. Few, what's uh, what's your answer? Okay, the most losses never won at SummerSlam. Um, Jesus Christ, bro! I know Kali lost against Triple H at the SummerSlam. There you go. Uh, you got background music to get you going. <laughs> <laughs> but also, Marty Jannetty lost oof, a lot of matches at SummerSlam. 
Um, who are the other guys? Jeff Hardy and both Hardy brothers. Both Hardy brothers and Shane McMahon are also options. Shane McMahon. Now the Hardy brothers are individual, but individual. They're options. Yeah. Never won a match at SummerSlam. Yeah, they didn't win. Even when he was tagging with uh, Al Snow. Um, yeah, Marty Jannetty. Okay, Marty Jannetty. Uh, one man band. You know, originally I was gonna say Marty Jannetty, but I recall him winning. I I want to say he he won a match. He might have even won the Intercontinental Title at at SummerSlam, but I'm not sure. I'm not gonna remember that. But for whatever reason, I'm I'm recalling I'm recalling a few of these guys, and I, I'm pretty sure Great Collie won at SummerSlam once. And yeah. I I I I have no comment. Go keep no, going. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> keep going. Keep I'm going. Just to, I'm just trying to use deductive reasoning here, and I'm almost certain that Marty Janetti has won at SummerSlam at one point. Uh, and and Greg Holly as well. I don't know why, but I'm gonna say Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy, wow, wow, Old. yeah. That, that was my that okay. was my second pick too. I was thinking of Jeff Hardy right. as well. All right, so Lou said Greg Holly, J. Few says Marty Janetti, and One Man Band says Jeff Hardy. We got a good spread here, and one of you is right. I won't say which. Does anybody want to change their answer? No, I'll stick with it. And if I get it wrong, I like to know which <laughs> match, which match did he win? Because I want to see it. Because all right, all right, I, no, I have the records. I have the records for everybody. So oh. no one wants to change their answer. Nope. Nope. Correct answer is Jeff Hardy with a spot of zero wins and six wow. losses. Wow. For the record, Marty Jannetty and Greg Kali have not won at SummerSlam either, though. So <laughs> I want to know what one man Brown was thinking. It, mu- uh, it must have been. Oh, okay. I remember now. It was on a Marty, Marty Jannetty. Marty Jannetty is second place. He has zero wins and four losses, by the way. So, JFU, you, you were really close. And the Great Kali has three losses and zero wins. Okay. Uh. Now. Bear in mind, both Matt Hardy and Shane McMahon both won a match at SummerSlam each. Uh, their record is one win, four losses. So oh. neither one of you went with somebody who had a win. So that's that's a good sign. But tie score, one man band coming back. He's at two, lose at two. Newcomer J. Few at one point. So there's still plenty of time to catch up. Question number nine. Which of the following wrestlers, as of this recording, is the one that holds the sole victory over Charlotte Flair at SummerSlam? A. Sasha Banks. B. Nikki Bella. C. Becky Lynch. D. Carmella. E. Trish Stratus. Or F. None of the above. Charlotte Flair has never lost at SummerSlam. Wow. Oh. All right, J. Few. What is your answer? Um. Uh, so one of them is that she's never lost, and then the, wh- who are the other opponents? Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks. Nikki Bella. Nikki Bella. Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. Carmella. Becky Lynch. Carmella uh-huh. or Trish Stratus. Um, damn it. I'm stuck between Becky Lynch and none of the above. Becky Lynch won the title. Is it a WrestleMania from her? Um, I'm going to say none of the above. I go, wow, none of the above. None of the above. Okay. One man band. I am also going to say none of the above because I know for a fact that Sasha has never beat her. 
<laughs> you know there are other people on the list, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I know for a fact, and I know that she has beat Carmella as well. Matter of fact, I know she beat she beat Carmella and Becky Lynch. It was a triple threat. Okay. So all right, I'm gonna say none of the above. Okay, Lou. Uh, I'm gonna go with none of the above. Mm. Gonna go with none of the above. I wonder why. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn! One man band throwing shit. You see, this is why you can't explain your answers too much, guys. All right. You got a control C, control V guy over here. All right. So for so for the points, the correct answer is F. Charlotte Flair is undefeated at SummerSlam yeah. with a record of four and zero. Oh. Lou, don't be proud. You copied everybody else's answer. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, you know, oh my God. Put up the best. What are you uh, talking about? Oh, uh, gosh. As of this recording, so we will see if that undefeated streak continues. But yeah, so what's very the score? surprising. Score is. Lou, Five you're at tie. Lou and One Man Band are three, and J Few is at two points. All so, right. we shall see. Question number 10. Vincent Kennedy McMahon has only wrestled one match at SummerSlam. And the opponent or opponents in that match was A, Stephanie McMahon. B, Bobby Lashley. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Leo Rush impression. Bobby Lashley. C. Bob and Lashley. C. Degeneration X. D. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Or E. The tag team of Shawn Michaels and God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. All right. This is a real head scratcher. This is only. He's only wrestled one match. Who were who were his opponents or opponents? One man band. Floor is yours. Uh, oh, that's tough. I am going to go with. It's, it sounds like to me, D Generation X sounds like the most log- logical one for me. Okay. DX. Yeah. Lou, what do you got? Hmm. Um. Steve Austin? I'll go Austin. Go with Austin. Okay. Yeah, I won't copy this time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we got a confession. We got a confession that he copied on the last one, but whatever. <laughs> so, so if I get it wrong, oh. you know, I'll copy the next one. Jay Few! Jay Few! Okay, so you're saying that Vince McMahon faced. He's, he's only wrestled one match at SummerSlam. You What's just gotta, you just got to name who the opponent or opponents were. Okay. So you said, can you repeat the answers again? No problem. A, Stephanie McMahon. B, Bobby Lashley. Not Bobby. C, Degeneration X. So he wrestled both of them, is what well, you're saying. Presumably, he was in a match against them, is what I would be arguing. Okay. D. Okay. Stone Cold Steve Austin or E Shawn Michaels and his tag Thank team God. partner God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I am between Vince against um, DX, and I'm also between uh, Vince and God. <laughs> the God storyline with Shawn Michaels. Um, that. I'm going to say it's, um, I'm going to say it's, um, um, okay, so it's Vince against, against DX. There you go. You're going to say DX. I'm going to say DX. All right. It's time to see who got it right. And the answer is DX. Yes. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yes. I remembered it. That's why. I yes, remember that SummerSlam 2006, Degeneration X versus the McMahons, Shane and Vince. For the record, it was, 
Yeah. For the record, Vince McMahon has but, fought all uh-huh. the other com- all the other competitors on pay per view. He fought Stephanie McMahon at No Mercy in 2003. He fought Bobby Lashley at Backlash 2007. He fought Stone Cold Steve Austin on pay per view at the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, and he fought Shawn Michaels and God at Backlash 2006 along with his son Shane. But the only one match that it occurred at SummerSlam, and his only match was against D Generation X. Oh, I With remember that, during that time period that they were, I think Vince had the Spirit Squad with him or something. I don't know. Yep. You called it. Spirit Squad, Big Show. Okay. That's why it came to my mind. But, yeah, that was a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> there I you was going to say, because the Vince McMahon and uh, Shawn Michaels versus God, yeah. like, I was I was thinking about it, but I, I was like, I don't think that took place in summer or something. Uh, it did not. That was a that was a backlash. That was a throwaway pay per view. Yeah. Um. So yeah, one man band. What's it feel like to be in the lead? It four great. points. It's, it's four it's points. So, it's and Jay you you're actually you're actually tied to tied with Lou now. So you might you might actually overtake Lou, and Lou might get last place all of a sudden. Or, or I just copy Jay Few. Oh, of course. Oh, oh of course. Uh, all right. Question number eleven. Damn it. Who holds the record for most wins at SummerSlam? Not most wins undefeated, just most wins in general. Your answers are A, The Undertaker, B, Randy Orton, C, Triple H, D, Bret Hart. I mean, sorry, D, Edge, or E, Bret Hart. Wow. Most wins at SummerSlam. Most wins at SummerSlam. Overall, they don't have to have they don't have to be undefeated. Just overall, most wins, and it's tricky. It's tricky with this one. I'll explain why. But go ahead. I go first. Most right? wins. Lou, you go first. Yes. All right. I'm gonna go with uh, Triple H. Triple H. Okay. Uh, J. Few. Most wins at SummerSlam. You said Undertaker, Triple H, Randy Orton, and who else? Edge and Bret Hart are the other two options. Edge and Bret Hart. Um, I'm going to say Undertaker. Undertaker, okay. One man band. I am also going to say The Undertaker because I remember a bunch of his matches and I remember him winning a lot of them. Not only not only at WrestleMania, but at SummerSlam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. And the answer... Wait, you're supposed to say, does anybody want to change their answer? You know what? I will ask it because uh, I'll just ask it. Does anybody <laughs> Does anybody want to change yes, their answer? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Lou, hey, what do you want to change your answer? Anything. Undertaker. What do you want to... Let me tell you something. <laughs> hey, hey. Okay, let me tell, no. let me say, let me say something here. Let me say something here. I think I think this should be fair. I think I I think a, a, a changing answer should only be allowed maybe max twice because this is going to be like come on, bro. <laughs> uh, well, well, I would agree with you. I would agree with you, one man band. Now that you guys all have your lancers locked in, yeah. Lou, I I am saddened to say all of you are wrong. No. Oh. The correct oh. answer no. is Edge. Oh, okay. Okay, Undertaker Edge. comes in at second place with 10 wins, 5 losses, and 1 no contest. Edge, via a technicality, uh, I'll explain in a moment, has 11 wins and 2 losses at SummerSlam. Wow. And here's the reason. Even though Edge has appeared at fewer SummerSlams, he wrestled in what is called a tag team turmoil match at SummerSlam oh. 99. And him and Edge and Christian were the first team out, and they've wrestled four individual matches against the teams of the Hardy Brothers, all, then at the time known as the New Brood, Mabel, and or was it Viscera and Mosh or something? I'm, I'm drawing a blank here. They wrestled a bunch of teams, and then they got eliminated by the Acolytes. So that's his first loss, but they won four matches before that. Oh, wow. In the tag team turmoil, so that counts towards his win record. And the only other loss Edge has had 
is against The Undertaker at SummerSlam in 2008. Oh, man. His, he's won every other match at SummerSlam. You know, this Along trivia with- makes me want to watch wrestling now. I feel like putting on a couple of DVDs and just, like, watching it all night. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It gets you hyped up for the show. Uh, with that said, I am going to take I am going to take one man band's counsel to heart. Uh, no more changing answers for twenty four seven loop. Uh, no, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Perfect. <laughs> just, Thank you. just for loop. In general, in, in general. All right, in general, in general, in general. We'll go with in general. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. The most yeah. 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 accusing it of the contest. <laughs> That's right, Jericho. Conspiracy theories. The rules have been established at the beginning of the contest. Oh my gosh, Lou! Just stop! Just stop changing your answering. Well, you're the one that added good. that in. I gotta take it. You're the one that added that in. And, and thank you, Jay. Oh gosh, thanks, Jay. Few. And of course, true brother, right there. True fashion. brother, right there. Okay, in cheating fashion, of course he's gonna take it. <laughs> oh. Ooh, all right, all right, all right, guys, all right, guys. This is getting heated because one man band. This, this, we're running out of questions, and one man band's got a pretty solid lead here. You call it cheating? I call it uh, strategy. All right, that's all not, right. That's not the only thing I have solid. Oh. 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 All right, guys. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's <laughs> let's cool down here. Who holds the record for most losses at SummerSlam? Not most losses without a victory, just most losses in general. Your options are A, Kane, B, John Cena, C, Chris Jericho, Le Champion, uh, D, Randy Orton. Or E, Booker T. Most losses. Most overall losses. J Few. Um, I'm between uh, Booker T and. Wait, what were the other guys again? You got Kane, John Cena, Chris Jericho, and Randy Orton as your other options aside from Booker T. I don't know. It feels like Cena's had a horrible time at SummerSlam. I'm going to say John Cena. Final answer. All right. He's going to say John Cena. One man band? I also am going to say John Cena because John Cena, I recall him losing quite a bit. And he's gotten his ass handed to him quite a few times. You heard that, John? You heard that, John? That goes on to you, John. Listen, listen. The CCCP champion does not scare me. I'm sorry. Wow. This could be. By the way, John Cena has the potential to break Ric Flair's record, but we're saying he lost the most at SummerSlam. Okay. Lou, do you agree or do you have a. Do you want to go bold and try to actually get a a tie in? (laughs) I'm going to go with the group. John Cena. You're going to go with the group, John Cena. And the correct answer is, because we can't change answers anymore. Oh. John Cena. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. John Cena has I lost mean. at SummerSlam nine times. Wow. For the record, Chris Jericho has lost six times. Randy Orton has lost seven times. Booker T has lost five times. And Kane has only lost four times. So good wow. job, guys. You got it. I had a feel, I had a feel all like right, that. all right. One man band with five points. Lou, you're at four, and I believe Jay Few is tied with Lou at four points. Also, this is a fight for second place. It looks like. All right, uh, we're gonna speed it up a little more because we're at the forty minute mark. All right. So, question number thirteen: Which of the following individuals has not had a match against the Undertaker at SummerSlam? A. Giant Gonzalez. B. Brock Lesnar. <laughs> C, Kane, D, Shawn Michaels, E, The Undertaker. I know that is not a typo. Who has not had a match against... Who has not had a match against The Undertaker at SummerSlam? Okay. Undertaker hasn't fought Undertaker? (laughs) Oh, Oh, boy. Someone does another retro history, I guess. 1994. All right. Drew? I mean, one-man band? Oh, 
Oh, oh. sorry guys, sorry guys. <laughs> my dog, my dog. All right. Uh, you said the, the choices were Giant Gonzalez, Undertaker, Brock Lesnar, Kane, or Shawn Michaels. Ooh. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I am going to go with. I'm going to go with Shawn Michaels. All right. D, Shawn Michaels. Lou, who's your choice? Um, can you read them again to me again? What are the choices again? Your options are Giant Gonzalez, Brock Lesnar, Kane, Shawn Michaels, or The Undertaker. I'll go, I'll go Kane. You'll go Kane. Okay. J-Few? So I know for sure he had a match with Giant Gonzalez in 93. Then he had a match with The Undertaker in 94. I think I think the Brock Lesnar, he did have a match with him because I remember them him sitting up and laughing at each other and then just beating the shit out of each other. I thought that was funny as hell. I think that was at a SummerSlam. So now we're left with Kane and who's the other one? Shawn Michaels. Oh, man. I want to say like in the 90s, him and Shawn Michaels had a match at SummerSlam, but I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to say um, I feel like it's Kane, but I also remember Shawn Michaels. Did he have a match with him? I know they had a match at Royal Rumble. Um, I'm going to say, freaking down, let me get this wrong. I'm going to say Shawn Michaels. And the correct answer is Shawn Michaels. Oh. For the record, the reason why you guys remember Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker at SummerSlam is Shawn Michaels was the guest referee, referee. for a match against where Undertaker fought Bret Hart. That is correct. And uh, for anybody wondering, yes, Undertaker versus Undertaker is a match that happened at SummerSlam. Yes, 1994. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lesnar, baby. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh, somebody remembers because that actually ties into the next question. Uh, so I believe score stands at six, one man band, five, J. Few, Lou, you're four. Yeah. Number 14, what celebrity slash actor fought in their first ever WWE match at SummerSlam? Your ans- your options are A, Jeremy Piven from the movie The Goods. <laughs> Jeremy Piven. <laughs> B, I remember that. Leslie Nielsen from the Naked Gun movies. C, Stephen Amell from the CW show Arrow. D, Seth Green from Family Guy. E, Jon Stewart from The Daily Show. Or F. Kevin Federline. <laughs> I remember Kevin Federline. Wait, 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 that was wait, 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 what's the question? What celebrity slash actor fought in their first ever WWE match at SummerSlam? SummerSlam. Hmm. That's a tough one. Lou, you go first. You say John Stewart, right? Uh, John Stewart is an option. Up or down? You want to go with John Stewart? Okay. J. Few. Uh, um, give me the choices again. A. Jeremy Piven. B. Uh-huh. Leslie Nielsen. C. Stephen Amell. D. Seth Green. E. John Stewart. F. Kevin Federline. <laughs> uh. Uh, the Arrow guy. Stephen Amell. Okay. From Stephen CW. Amell. Yeah. For, okay. Uh, one man band? I'm also going to go with Stephen Amell because I remember this very well. I remember the whole Stardust gimmick and the whole thing of, you know, oh, you know, like, they, they were, they were, they were going at it. And I, and I remember, like, they hailed Stephen Amell saying he did pretty well. So, yeah, Stephen Amell. I know for sure. Not Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
The correct answer is C, Stephen Amell, correct? Yes. John Stewart did appear at SummerSlam 2015. Lou, don't get mad. Uh, he just did an interference, though, in yeah, the he, title match. He chaired, he chaired John Cena. I remember that. Yep. All the other ones did not happen at SummerSlam, if you're remembering a match. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, I remember uh, John Stewart, I think it was on Raw, with a chair or something. No, that was that was at SummerSlam. It was at SummerSlam, but he didn't. He no, wasn't part Summer. of the match. Right. Okay. He he took an AA the the next night on Raw though. I think he took two. Yeah. All right. Question number fifteen: What women's wrestler who has been inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame retired after wrestling their final match at a SummerSlam event? A. China. B. Lita. C. Tori Wilson. D, Alunda Blaze, or E, Trish Stratus? Retired. Retired. Their last match took place at a SummerSlam. Who's first? First off is you, J. Few. Okay. So the... the so the question is, what it was their last match at SummerSlam? They retired. Their last match happened at SummerSlam. Yep. And the the trick you said, Trish Stratus. Who else? Trish Stratus, Alundra Blaze, Tori Wilson, Lita, or China? Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus. One man band. Yeah, I'm also gonna go Trish Stratus. I, I kind of remember. Lou. Trish Stratus. The correct answer is Trish Stratus after her match with Charlotte at uh, SummerSlam a couple years back. Yeah, that, that is correct. Fairly recent. Yeah, remember that. Yeah. All right, last one. Oh man. Uh, oh man. Here we go. Here we go. Calm down. Which of the following weddings happened at a SummerSlam event? A. Kane and Lita. B, Billy and Chuck. C, <laughs> Al Wilson and Don Marie. D, Randy Savage and Miss Elizabeth. E, Edge and Lita. Damn it. One man band, you're up. Oh, this is easy. This is so okay. freaking easy. I actually remember this very, very well. And I... If you guys, if you guys want to ride my jock on this one, that's fine. But you know, uh, oh, now it's fine. I, yeah, well, because <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give it away. Because I mean? <laughs> I'm gonna, because I'm gonna give it away, pretty much. I mean, because I'm gonna preamble this because I already won. So yeah. Um, yeah, he's in the lead. Oh. You're right. He is in the lead. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint the picture. I was six years old. 1991 SummerSlam. Oh, damn, it, we're going in the nostalgia box here. The nostalgia box is going to be it's going to be 30 years old on the 26th of August. And it was ooh yeah, the macho man, Randy Savage. And his wife, actual wife at that time, Miss Elizabeth, at a wedding. And that was one of the biggest things that they did at that time. And that was it. It was dubbed a match made in heaven. And that's it. I'm going to go with Randy Savage and Miss Elizabeth. All right. 24-7 Lou. Randy Savage, Miss Elizabeth. Okay. Yeah, I wonder how he came to that conclusion. Jay Few. Well, first and foremost, I know this answer. Um, I want to congratulate o OMB because I know he got the win. But I, I, this is so nostalgic. This goes back, you know. I was um I was in fourth grade and I remember well no wait was I in fourth grade? Oh, no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, no. God. Oh, God. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, I was in fifth more, grade. I was in, no, you I was probably, you probably well, no, you, I was in some born, grade. I was in say, some yeah. grade. Well, well you were but you I, were born in you were born in seventy nine, right? So that would Wow, totally wow. putting it out there. Wow. Why not? <laughs> Yeah. Whatever, whatever. So I think it's sixth grade. You were probably in sixth grade. 
Probably. Yeah. But oh, uh, but I remember this so vividly. Um, I remember um, the Macho King Randy Savage having that feud with the Ultimate Warrior, and him standing in the middle of the ring. Uh, WrestleMania 7 when the career ending match ended the Macho Man's career and Sensational Sherry started attacking the Macho King and then came uh, Miss Elizabeth to make the save and then they embraced the crowd went crazy everybody cried I yeah. cried I remember that moment a few weeks later uh, Macho Man he asked Miss Elizabeth to marry him and she said oh yeah and SummerSlam 1991, baby, that was one of the best pay-per-views slash Coliseum video covers I've ever seen. So, yes, it is that, that one. Yep. Yep. All right. All right. Yeah, brother. All right. All right. So, very interesting. Nobody went Billy and Chuck. I guess we're not, we're not at that point yet. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> the correct so answer is... To me. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> the, theme song. the correct answer is Randy Savage and Miss Elizabeth. Congratulations, Dang, yeah. guys. Everybody oh. did really well. Uh, one man bands. I believe the scoreboard is seven. Seven. J Few, seven or eight. I lost count. Eight, 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 seven, and six. You had nine. Eight, seven, and six. Did I have nine? I mean, I'm not going to argue it. Well, either way, we know we know that it is OMB in first place, JFU in second place, and twenty four seven Lou in last place. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, so Lou, uh, uh, constellation price. What would you like? Uh, I got some Chuck E. Cheese tokens. <laughs> <laughs>